assalamu alaikum my dear students i hope all of you are fine and doing well so the topic that we will discuss today it is the sources of the vitamins that from where we can gain all the types of the vitamins as we have already studied there are two types of vitamins the first one we have fat soluble vitamins and the second type was their water soluble vitamins the difference is very really simple all the vitamins that get dissolved in fat are called fat soluble and all the vitamins that get dissolved in water are called as water soluble vitamins and here we have the fat soluble vitamins there are four types which one a d e and vitamin k and the water soluble vitamins are of two types the vitamin b group and the vitamin c group or the vitamin c it was simple on a whole if you talk about the vitamin b then they are more in number or they are almost including 10 vitamins so that's why they are also known as the b complex vitamins now let's have a look on its sources if we talk about the simple their sources we can gain these vitamins from all the fruits as well as from many vegetables now we will talk about all the vitamins one by one that what are their main and the great sources first one we have two vitamins the vitamin a and d both vitamin a and d they are fat soluble vitamins so the main source of the vitamin a here we have cheese from cheese we can gain the vitamin a from eggs from fish from the sweet potatoes from the papaya from the pepper there are two types of peppers from the avocados from broccoli pumpkin and carrot as vitamin a has its a lot of sources that we already take in our daily life as we take eggs on the daily basis we have the potatoes in different forms we can take it in the form of fries we can take it in the form of boiled potatoes or mashed potatoes we also use cheese in different ready to made things like burgers and pizzas and the carrot we can also take it as in the form of uncooked or the cooked form it is the great source of vitamin a that helps to increase the vision of the human beings on the other hand when we talk about the vitamin d sunlight it is the main source of vitamin d when we are in the direct sunlight in the morning or in the evening that it is not producing too much heat it is a great source of vitamin d on the other hand from cheese we can also gain the vitamin d the milk it also provides calcium and the vitamin d yogurt and it is prepared from the milk so it in turn contain the vitamin d the fish that is salmon it is also the source of vitamin d in a proper way along with the eggs so there are two main sources that are almost common in both vitamin a and d we were having eggs and the cheese both are the sources of vitamin a as well as vitamin d now we have the sources of the vitamin e here the vitamin e it is also the fat soluble vitamin now from where we can gain this vitamin we can gain it from the pumpkin we can gain it from the dried apricots from the avocados from broccoli from different nuts from the asparagus from the green olives from sunflower seeds and from the spinach so here we have a lot of sources of the vitamin e as we already take the broccoli and 
the dried apricots in our daily life and different types of nuts they are source of vitamin e and they are rich in this so here we have different substances that are common in vitamin a and e the one substance which is pumpkin the second is avocado and the third one is broccoli so these three are common and they provide vitamin e as well as the vitamin a so this is the simple sources of vitamin e then we have the sources of vitamin k if we talk about the vitamin k it is also the fat soluble vitamin as it a fat soluble vitamin it's mean we can have its sources from fruits as well as from the vegetables here we have the broccoli we have the squash the swiss chard the olive oil tomatoes the kale parsley and the peppers these all are the sources of the vitamin k as we have the common source of vitamin a and k it is the peppers there here we have the three forms of the peppers which green red and orange or it may be sometime in the yellow color so these are the sources of the vitamins k after that we have the sources of the vitamin b and c here we have the vitamin b1 you can see that here we have mostly the dried nuts these sources are the main sources of the vitamin b1 as b is also known as the b complex that is mainly consisting of already 10 vitamins and both b and c these are known as the water soluble vitamins as they are soluble in water if we take their large amount then there is no harm to the body of the human beings or the living things here we have the walnuts we have the pistachio we have the different seeds and we have here the wheat we can take it from the orange we can take it from eggs from the leaves and from the grams on the other hand when we talk about the vitamin c almost all the fruits that are juicy they are great source of vitamin c here the guava the kiwi fruit the bell pepper so vegetable we have strawberries we have orange papaya we have broccoli we have tomatoes we have kale lemon and all the citrus fruits are the main source of the vitamin c that they provide the vitamin c in a proper way to our body and we also require them in a great amount because they are very necessary and they are known as the accessory growth factors so this was all about today's lecture i hope you guys understand and if you have any queries you may ask me about that and the next topic that we will discuss it is the importance of vitamins that how they are used in our body and what are their main effects on the body of the human beings so for that time you guys keep learning and have a good day